My name is Chet Njiva. I'm responsible for Investex lending activities throughout the rest of Africa. Um, born and bred in Pretoria, uh, South Africa. For too long, I think we've been seen as you know, full of corruption issues, um, but very resource rich. So, some so a country to be exploited or a, a continent to be exploited. I think what I'd like to see is um, the world recognizing new young talent that we have. Uh, a great bunch of potential leaders coming through and you know moving away from the, all these negative perceptions and really creating something that's you know very sustainable and uh, just demonstrating what rich uh, culture uh, this continent has what rich history and heritage it has and uh, hopefully the people can can make it happen you know we've got a great youth uh, uh, asset i think we must you know make it work so that's what i'd like to see Becoming a tutor fellow, um, I'd say the way it's changed uh, in my leadership style or impacted my leadership abilities is, um, you know, the qualities that have always been ingrained in me, things like integrity and, you know, being true to yourself, uh, will always remain. So, you know, that's that's clear to me. But, you know, some, some interest, introspective journeys I've been through, going through this process, meeting new people, um, I think the one quality that's come up very important for me is self-awareness and being it's so important to not just be aware of your surroundings but be aware of how you come across to other people. You know, you're supposed to be an example to people and by you know, being clearly self-aware it just makes you uh, such a more clear person and someone that can be understood and respected better. Africa's up and coming leaders have a uh, multiplicity of challenges. Uh, I mean, you know, we need to change these negative perceptions about um, you know, African leaders being corrupt and having short-term thinking and looking just out for, the, in the example of a president, just looking out for the first term or the second term and thereafter setting themselves up for, for a great life thereafter. I think it'll go long beyond that and, and, and say to the rest of the world that we want to build sustainable countries and economies that we will live long beyond uh, our tenors as leaders and, and really take it from there. You know, my advice to the youth would be, um, you know, it's a challenging time. Unemployment is such a huge issue. Everyone's fighting for the for the scraps. I think what's absolutely critical is to really be tenacious and hungry and uh, really fight for, for what you believe in and uh, push the envelope because I think mediocrity is just not going to get you anywhere.